Two of the following videos right, are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Round one, let's begin. First up, take a graphite pencil and draw two thick lines. Okay. Then tape the positive and negative terminals of a three volt battery to the lines. Close the switch on the battery holder, and now if you complete the circuit with an LED facing the correct way, the LED will turn on. Next up- Emphasis on the correct way, but yes. Now this isn't the most efficient electric circuit of all time, but graphite does conduct electricity a little bit, and you have to make it real thick. This is analogous to how a very simple nuclear reactor like Chicago Pile 1 worked, which used crude, chunky graphite bricks to moderate the neutrons and make a fission reactor hot water and some dry ice. If you have a large enough potential difference from the near boiling water to the really cold dry ice, the electrons will flow through the wire and light up the LED. Okay, you're missing one key ingredient here, and that would be the semiconductor material. Need something like bismuth telluride. But here, you're just not creating enough voltage or current. I mean, you might as well be trying to run a nuclear reactor on pump heat with no fissile material at all. The key mechanism of how a thermoelectric generator works is gone in this case. Lastly, grab some oranges and connect them all in series using these copper and zinc metal prongs. Yeah, and when you complete Excel. the circuit, the LED will turn on. You've seen all- Okay, that one I buy, especially since they had to turn off the lights to even get to see anything. But yeah, that's a very small circuit, so very, very low power is being used here. This would be a bit like trying to power a city with spent fuel rods might be possible, but don't even bother because it's horribly inefficient. Videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. Graphite does conduct electricity, so this is a real way to light up an LED. Oranges in this configuration can also be used to light up an LED, although it wasn't very bright, which is why I needed to turn off the lights. Yep. That means this video is fake. I simply turned the LED mm -hmm. on using a power supply, <laughs> masked that was the pretty obvious. LED, and overlaid it back on. All about power and efficiency.